Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your very own working swing in Minecraft today, guys. And I am on my realm. Have a look at this, guys. Now, if you are excited to find out how to make your very own working swing in Minecraft without any mods or add-ons, make sure to go ahead, drop a like down below right now, guys. We're going to try and reach 1,000 likes. And I have a little bit of a challenge for you. I want to see if you guys can hit the like button with your pinky toe. Yeah, it's going to be pretty hard, guys. And I'm going to be impressed if you can do it. So make sure to go down to the comments now. And if you were able to do it, comment, I like the button with my pinky toe. So we're going to try and go for 1,000 pinky toe like guys go ahead smash that like button if you are new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and slap the notification bell to never miss an upload guys that'd be much appreciated and you know one quick thing guys if you noticed i am on the realm it's pretty awesome we got the 400k sign up in the corner there thank you guys so much for 400k once again and we have the awesome ey stream statue back there and all the incredible things that people have made on the realm now, if you guys want to come join my realm, come play with me, and maybe even be in a video just like these people. Oh, it started raining. Well, that, that is a great way to advertise the realm here, guys. Um, let's go ahead, and we'll just put back the sun so, like, the realm looks even nicer. We've got to keep the realm looking nice. Anyway, guys, shout out to all these awesome people who are playing on the realm right now. If you guys want to come play with me and maybe even be in a video just like these awesome people make sure to go ahead drop a like down below and then go ahead go to the description there is literally a link that says join ey students realm just go ahead hit that fill in your email and you should get an email with a secret code telling you how you can come join the realm come play with me and maybe even be in a video just like these awesome people once again shout out to these guys but let's go ahead and get started with today's video we are going to be creating a secret awesome working swing in minecraft and you know it's just gonna make all your friends jelly see you guys you guys, you guys all gonna be jelly. You all gonna be jelly of this awesome swing. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so first things first, you're going to need to find yourself a nice open space. It doesn't need to be this big, it only needs to be about 6 by 6 blocks wide. The swing isn't going to be that big, but we actually have to do a lot of things underground to actually get this to work. And I would also recommend doing it on this type of coloured grass, just because it looks better, but it is actually totally up to you. So once you guys have found your spot, you can go ahead and you want to build a 5 long 1 deep hole. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, four, five, just like that, and that is going to be our middle foundation. I'd recommend getting some sort of block and just placing it here, just so you remember that this is the middle of our sling, because this is going to be important later. Then once you've done that, you want to go ahead, leave a five long gap here, and once again, build a five long hole. So one, two, three, four, five, just like that, guys, and you kind of get this railway look, and those are going to be our first foundations for this build. Then you want to go ahead, punch out this end block here, and this end block here, kind of creating a zero in the ground. Then you want to go ahead and do one, two, three on this side, just like that, guys. And then one, two, three, just like that on that side. Now you've kind of got an O look as well. And that is going to be the swing foundations right there. And I don't think you really have to do too much else. That should be all good. Now, the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and get materials. Now, obviously, if you're in survival, you're going to have take some time to get these, but if you're in creative, you can just go ahead and jump into the creative inventory. So first off, guys, you're going to need six rails. So go ahead and grab those. You're going to need three pow- Oh, four powered rails. Almost got that wrong there, guys. You're going to need two redstone torches to obviously activate those redstone uh, powered rails there, guys. Then you're going to need two mine carts. So go ahead and grab those. Now, here's where things get a little interesting. You're going to need one pig. So if you're on survival, go ahead and grab one using some wheat. Or if you're in creative, just use the spawn egg. And you're going to need one horse. You're probably thinking, all right, why do I need a pig and a horse for a swing? You guys will understand very, very soon. Once you've done that, go ahead, grab a saddle. And finally, yeah, that's all you're going to need for now. We are going to need some more stuff later. So make sure to have some extra materials. Oh, it would be raining. Let's go ahead. Set the weather to clear. There we go. Come, please, sun. Thank you. Thank you, sun. All right. Hopefully the... Is the sun coming? Yeah, there we go. All right. We got the sun and it would be going night as well. I better go ahead. Set the time of day. All right. So once that's done, guys, go ahead and you want to put one redstone torch in this little hole we punched out earlier and one on the top, just like that. 
Once you've done that, you want to go one, two, three, one, two, three, with your regular rails, just like that, on either side of our two five indents, and put one powered rail in the corner here on either side, and do the exact same thing on the other side. And as you can see, that's going to give us this kind of O, with these two power rails going side by side, and the redstone torches, super, super simple. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and place a minecart right in the middle of this side and right in the middle of this side. Now, it's super important you get these in the middle. That is going to be crucial when you're trying to set the swing up. Then you want to go ahead and on the right side, remember we have the middle row right here. And then on the right side, guys, you want to place a pig just next to the minecart and he will jump straight in like that. And that's super simple. We're going to call you Mr. Porkchop. How you going, Mr. Porkchop? Um, you're going to be going for a ride very, very soon. Then you want to go ahead and get us your horse or your horse spawn egg and spawn him right next to the minecart. Doesn't matter what color your horse is, but you just want to push him into the minecart. This can take a little bit of time if we can go ahead and just push him in. Come on, here we go, guys. There we go. We got the horse in the minecart. Now, once that's done, guys, you're going to want to ride your horse, and you need to tame him. So go ahead, sit on him for a bit, and you just want to go ahead, and you will notice that your minecart will start moving up and down. That's totally fine for the moment, and you just want to go ahead and sit on him until you can tame him. So once you see those hearts, guys, Go ahead, chuck a saddle on your horse, and you are done. So as you can see, this minecart has started moving up and down. And this is going to be super important because this is actually going to be our swing motion as if the swing is moving back and forth. What you want to do is try and get the pig moving at the exact same speed as the horse. Now, this is incredibly hard to do, especially because the horse actually moves faster than the pig. So eventually, they're going to go out of sync. But you know what? You can kind of just hope that you'll be able to get these guys in sync. So best of luck to you. So you guys got ready, right? And I would recommend kind of when the horse starts coming back is when you push the pig. So here we go. He's coming back. And we push the pig like that. And yeah, that did not work. You got it. This, this is probably the hardest part of the build is trying to get these to go in sync. You can kind of just keep pushing the pig until they look pretty close. So here we go, guys. Oh my gosh. This is literally the hardest part of this build is getting... Oh, 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 there we go, guys. We got them really close. So you're not going to get them much closer than that. And they will occasionally fall out of sync. But that is really, really good, guys. And once you get that in sync, you can feel pretty happy because normally that takes me like six or seven tries to get right. But we got that in the second try. Not bad, guys. Now, once you've done that, you want to go ahead and fill in these side blocks. So we're going to go ahead. One, two, and three. And then go ahead and fill in this side block as well. One. Oh, it's really hard to do because while the horse is there, you won't be able to do it. So one, two, and three. There we go. So we filled in those blocks just like that, guys. And once that's done, you can go ahead and you're going to need some new materials. That's right, guys. We're going to go ahead and clear our inventory. Now, for the next stage, guys, you're going to need green carpets. So we'll go ahead and grab some green carpet. Now, you can actually use any carpet you like, but if you are using this color of dirt, I would recommend using this green carpet because I feel like it blends in the most. Of course, though, if you want to decorate it, you can also kind of use red and white. That also looks really nice. So then we're going to go ahead and cover all this up with green carpet. Now, this is also one of the really tedious stages of the swing because you've got to kind of do it while the minecart isn't there or it just won't work. So, oh, oh. And also, if you do ride your horse, make sure not to jump. Just go ahead and jump off your horse just like that. Oh, no. We've pushed them out of sync. So that's the hardest bit, guys. Sometimes you will accidentally push them out of sync while you're trying to do the carpet. So we've got to try and push these back into sync. Here we go, guys. All right. And here we go. Come on. Ah, oh, why is this so hard, guys? This is honestly one of the hardest things to get right with the swing here is getting these guys to stay in sync. All right, and... Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. We got this. We got this, guys. We can do this. And... Ah! Uh, uh, nope, apparently not. We don't have this. We don't have this. Ah, uh, all right, come on. This is what I mean by it takes a long time. Like, honestly, I was so surprised how fast we did it the first time around. So we'll try this again, and there we go. Uh, that is really annoying, guys. I wish I could fix this for us, but it's just not going to work. Uh, all right, come on, come on, and... And, oh, I almost thought we had it that time, but apparently, no, we did not. All right, and I'm just going to... Yeah, there we go, in single once again. All right, let's make sure not to ride the horse this time. Because, like, that is even more in sync than we got it the first time. I'm pretty impressed. So we can go ahead, cover that up. All we got to do is make sure we don't hit the animals, because I really don't want these guys to go out of sync. All right, and bang, and bang. Oh, nuts. Nah. 
Putting this carpet down is also, as I said earlier, really tedious. And you just got to be really patient because if you do do this, if you like mess this up, you're going to have to go all the way back to stage one. All right. Now the horse, guys. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be so hard. All right. And now. There we go. All right. And now. There we go. And oh. Almost sat on the horse there. Uh, uh, come on, come on, and yeah, there we go. So once you guys have covered that up, you're, you're pretty much good to go. That is the main part of the swing done. Now you can see this is our middle. You want to go ahead and extend the carpet just so it doesn't look strange, guys. Across out onto this side just like that so that this section, this row right here where the horse is, is right in the middle. As you can see there, our horse is in the middle, and that is super important. Once you've done that, guys, you can actually make the swing. Now, it doesn't matter what kind of material you use for this. Uh, personally, I feel like jungle oak and oak uh, fences look best. But this is actually totally up to you guys. So we're going to go ahead and right in the center of the carpet here, you want to place one oak log here. Oh, well, jungle log in this case. And one there. And then you want to go ahead, grab your oak fence. And you want to go one, two, three. One, oh, one, two, three, and you want to go ahead and connect these using your oak fence. Once again, you could use nether brick, you can use birch fence, you could use quartz here. It is totally up to you. Then you want to go ahead and grab a lead. So go ahead and grab one of those. And once you've done that, guys, you want to go ahead, hit your horse, and you want to attach your horse to the furthest right side just like that. Then you want to go ahead and grab your pig and attach him to the furthest left side. And as you can see, the ropes will cross, creating a swing type effect. You know how like ropes come down and you would generally sit right in the middle here and go back and forwards. Now, you can go ahead and sit on your horse here. And as you can see, you go back and forward just as if you were on a swing. But we have a problem. You can still see the animals. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can fix that. Now, there are two ways to get around this. The number one way, which is the easiest by far way, is to go ahead and grab an invisibility potion and go ahead and splash down Kablamo. Oh. We do that right that time. Go Kablamo. We can destroy this block now. And as you can see, there is our swing. Absolutely completed. You can't see the animals anymore. And if we go ahead and sit on our invisible horse, check it out, guys. You actually look like you're on a swing, swinging back and forth. It's a really cool swing trick. Now, I know it doesn't have a seat. I tried so hard to get a seat, but it just wasn't possible, guys. But you know what? Maybe it's just kind of a swinging rope. It doesn't necessarily have to be a swing with a seat. It can be a swinging rope, and it's got this really cool effect as if you are swinging back and forward. And personally, I think it's really impressive and uh, not many other builds are able to pull off this working swing effect now as you guys probably know that invisibility potion is eventually going to wear off so there is one other way you can get around that now if you do have access to command blocks you can do slash give at p command block and you're going to need two of these so go ahead and i'm going to get the command block here we go if i can spell guys Command block, go ahead, enter, and you're going to need two of these. And you can just hide these right on the left side here. So we go ahead, we'll put two command blocks down. Now, for one of them, guys, you want to go ahead and put repeat and always active. And you want to do slash effect at E, brackets, type equals horse, and brackets. And you want to go invisibility, invisibility, if I can spell invisibility, invisibility, oh, I missed an eye. Why is there so many eyes in the word invisibility? And you just want to go ahead and do three and three. And then you can go ahead and close it. that. That'll mean that this will give your horse an infinite infect infinite effect of invisibility and it'll never wear out unlike the splash potion of visibility which will wear out after six minutes then you want to go ahead and i'm pretty sure you guys already know what you want to do repeat and always active on your second command block here guys and then you want to go ahead and for this command effect at e brackets type equals and this time pig and then you want to go ahead and once again go invisibility and then go ahead three space three and that'll make your pig have infinite invisibility as well. And you can just cover that up as if nobody's going to notice. Again with the rain today, guys. We are in the, the just, just the world doesn't like us. The, the, it's just too much. It's too much rain, guys. It just doesn't like us today. We're gonna go ahead and I'm going to do uh, set. Oh, time set day. There we go. 
and we can go ahead and finish up the video. So there is our working swing with infinite invisibility on our animals, so you are never going to be able to see them. And you can go ahead, sit on here, and you know, just go for a nice swing. And I reckon your friends will be pretty impressed by this neat little swing trick. They'll be like, how in the world have you done this? And you can just be like, I am a pro. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video, learned something new. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more awesome builds, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, guys, here I stream out.